that subsidy regime is gone. A round of applause for President Tinubu. We thank you, Mr. President, for having the courage to remove fuel subsidy. Nigeria. You see this case of Nigeria. So me, Peter, I will continue to be that voice that is crying in the wilderness of Nigeria. And because I know that this country must work in my lifetime and everything where I they talk, we will come back to address them because I know that what I'm saying is the truth, even though I know be celebrity. I told you people that the issue of this Nigerian fuel subsidy, Nigeria problem, not be fuel subsidy. The major problem of the Nigeria subsidy regime is the corruption and criminality in Nigerian oil sector. Any president who stand talk say the fuel subsidy regime is over. God bless you, President Tinubu. But Mr. President, the major question I will, we will need to ask is, is the corruption and criminality in the petroleum sector over? Is the corruption and criminality in NMPC over? Have you unbundled NMPC to make it a more transparent and accountable agency of government? President Buhari made himself petroleum minister for eight years. The same thing, President Tinubu is minister for petrol today. The thing where they that oil sector, where men continue to mount there, one day we go no. That is why, after all, in other countries, subsidies is paid in different countries in different forms. But the major problem of the Nigerian subsidy regime is outright criminality and stealing. Now that same corruption make way today out of Three refineries, all of them are money bond, but with the budget money every year to service refineries when they produce one liter of oil. So the same person who was head of NMPC under Buhari is still dead yet today. Tomorrow, go, NMPC chairman go counter when I say, Portacot refinery will begin to produce oil in 2019, in 2040, in 3080, in 8060. Oh, but what do you expect? You cannot use corruption to fight corruption. That is why my message today now to two group of people, our elders in Nigeria and to my fellow Nigerian youths. Our dear Nigerian elders, my daddy, Professor Wale Shoyinka, Reverend Tunde Bakari, but my daddy, Barista Femi Falano, and all others, Auntie Joe Dumaki. In 2012, when I formed the group, you called it Save Nigeria Group. You fought President Jonathan's government to a standstill. You say you want to save Nigeria from bad leadership. To uh, uh, occupy Nigeria protests against fuel subsidy and all that. My dear daddies, she, Nigeria has now been saved. Because we're not going to hear anything again. Has the country been saved? Professor Walejenka, because most of your interview now, you tend to talk more about the Labour Party candidates who, according to INEC, lost the election. And forget the fact that you led Occupy Nigeria protests. You have to bring in Buhari. Buhari brought in the current of Sinyokone Miyazet that everybody is dealing with now. We have to attend to this now, Prof. Is it that you people were fighting to save Nigeria from what we had before so that we can now achieve this one? It, was this the Nigeria of your dreams? This current situation, so you were fighting under Jonathan so that we can realize this current one we have, so Haba. So Nigerians are now queuing up to buy fuel for 897 Naira, according to NMPC. Other fuel stations, 1,000 something. So we are buying fuel for more than 1,000 Naira under the same government that protested against removal of fuel subsidy that took fuel to just 141 Naira. How about now our fathers? My dad is with all due respect. So when are they fight, the time you were fighting to save Nigeria, Bag of rice was less than 15,000. Dollar was less than 200. Fuel was less than 100 naira. With the fight to save Nigeria. Bag of rice reached 70,000. Fuel reached 1,000. Dollar 1,005. Indomie reached, carton of Indomie table reached 10,000. Bread reached 1,600 per loaf. We no can save Nigeria again. I be sure Nigeria can't save when Nami no no. Maybe when I save Nigeria, but maybe I'm the, maybe Nami they mad. I don't, I have not seen the salvation of Nigeria. Maybe you have saved it. You see this country, so that is, it is true that corruption is bad and corruption can destroy Nigeria, but the thing that may destroy Nigeria before corruption is hypocrisy. Our selective fight for good governance, what we decide to call fighting for good governance, as we they select them, if this person our own, okay, we'll fight, if this one, fellow Nigerian youth, when I don't see a move, we don't see where our fathers don't fight to save Nigeria rich. They don't fight and reach this bus stop. So they don't save and reach like this. They don't reach bus stop. They don't come down. They don't leave us for bus. 
Nigerian youth, we are our only hope. Oh. We are our only salvation. We are our only Messiah. We must come together to help this country. During protests, they tell us, make we focus on electoral reform. They say, no, that one a long-term issue. See the short-term issue that is bringing price of fuel down. How many weeks after protest, instead of fuel to come down, they think rather go up. Any protest where we do, where we no mobilize ourselves, go National Assembly to demand electoral reform and demand the opening of the account of NMPC and the entire petroleum sector now play with the play of Nigerian youth. We must be very focused on what we want. I'm talking to the Nigerian youth, where be like me, where be say we not get hope to Jackpa. Say we did this country, we must fix it. Nigeria must work for all of us. We cannot continue to suffer in silence. This is suffering and smiling. People, they die. Is it until we begin to pick dead body for road, people, they die of hunger, anxiety, depression? The suffering is too much. The pain is too much. Nigerians are going through a lot. We cannot keep quiet. Because one protest, no work, no means say we no go continue to fight for this country. This is too bad. Things are too bad. We must come together and save ourselves and save Nigeria from the points where our fathers don't save and reach. I take God back on our Nigerian youth. Let us set aside these differences and see how we can talk about the moving forward of this country. We cannot use corruption to fight corruption. Forget about this co set of people you are seeing. So it is almost a hopeless situation. Get, let us get an opportunity to get and elect our own leaders. Is it impossible? For goodness sake. Hmm. Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing? You're welcome to this Facebook page and YouTube channel. Anyways, I don't have much to say. Let me just put a little bit of light on this video. You heard what he said. Our problem are the leaders. Who are these leaders? Our papa, our papa, papa, we fight, see me. At that time of good luck, Jonathan, they were fighting for bad governments. Today, the really bad government has come to stay, but they refuse to come outside to fight. That is what hypocrisy. Walesha Inka is at the corner. Is zip up. Adeboye at the corner. Is zip up. What is this man's name? Falana. Femi Falana. See, all of them zip up. Many others. They shut their mouths. Now, where the country, they collapse, they fail to come outside to do the needful. When Bola Ahmed Tinubu has burned the country, these guys, see, they use their hand to cover their face as if they are not seeing what is happening. The country is collapsing, is bleeding. Nigeria citizens, they cannot handle it. This is going wrong every day. But you see these guys, hypocrisy is what is eating our fathers hypocrisies now Paula Ahmed is there they refuse to do the needful I told you guys before Nigeria youth I understand you guys are scared or tired of you know but we need to continue fighting when good luck Jonathan was there this was not expensive like this bag of rice was like 15,000, 12,000, you know? Petrol was like one well, something, 90 something, you know, 90, 60, 65, something like that. Dollar rate was 200. This was not expensive at that time. But you see these people, Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu, Muhammad Buhari, Adeboye, Walesho, Ika, Oshomole, all of them protested. The, they protested. Save Nigeria. From bad governance. So you guys saved Nigeria. When Nigeria was okay. Then you saved Nigeria. To give us this Nigeria now. Now when the Nigeria is bleeding. You guys refuse to come outside. To save it now. What a country. What a, what, what a fathers. What a fathers. I will call you people. Our elders. You guys have, you guys have failed us. You guys have failed us, failed us woefully. What are you still waiting for? Why are you guys not coming out to do the right thing? Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu is destroying the country. That man is, is bringing the country down. And you guys are not doing anything about it. You guys are not calling out Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu. And you allow this man to go away with what he is doing. Ah, you know, go better for now. Peter, God will bless you. We are on it. We will keep talking. 
if they want to come and arrest us, let them come and arrest us. We will keep talking about these people because it's our country. It's our country. Look at what is going on now. Fuel subsidy, they remove it. Fuel subsidy, the price of fuel was supposed to come down, but the price continued to go up. Now, yesterday, fuel price was 855 Naira. Today, 897 or 898. In those state, 1050. See, an NPC, that one is still adding to the problem in the country. We have refinery in the country. Our refinery is not working, but they keep, you know, budgeting money to work on the refineries. Is that not fraudulent, Nigerians? We need to wake up because the way the issue is now, we are still sleeping. Even the protest you guys came out to do, that was not protest. I will say it. Don't see you guys try to, but not to my satisfaction. The country was supposed to shut down everywhere in Nigeria. We're supposed to shut down. Bola Ahmed, if you came out to deceive you guys, go inside. You guys went inside, but today, look at what is going on. Look at what is going on. Immediately, you guys went inside. That man increased for Ah! That will not be juju. As I will end this video, I will come in peace. Please help to share this video. As you do so, God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye-bye.